Jack didn't want Matt to become a fighter. But to bring his father's killers to justice, he became a man without fear. Here comes Daredevil. This week on the Comic Book Report, we're looking at Daredevil by Mark Wade, Volume 1, Hardcover. Check it out. Hello from Hell's Kitchen. My name is Dominic, and this is the Comic Book Report, where we review comic books and graphic novels so you can get an idea of what to read. This week, we'll be reviewing Daredevil by Mark Wade, Volume 1, Hardcover. A couple quick facts about this collection. It was written by Mark Wade and illustrated by Paolo Rivera and Marcus Martin. These issues kicked off what is considered Volume 3 of the Daredevil series in 2011. The collection itself today contains the first six issues of their run. The hardcover edition I'm reviewing today comes in at about 152 pages. And before diving in today, I wanted to issue a brief spoiler alert. I will be flipping through the collection here today, and we'll be talking about general plot points. All right, folks, and here's a look at the collection itself here. You see some beautiful artwork on the front. You have his billy club covering his eyes in a fighting stance. And the back cover gives us a look at the city of New York and Daredevil swinging through it along with a brief synopsis of the book itself. As I dive into today's collection, I think it's time I confess something to you all. Daredevil is my favorite superhero. Daredevil comics are my favorite superhero comics. With that said, I have kind of an unusual bias whenever I start a new Daredevil run. On one hand, I am inclined to like it because it's a favorite character of mine. On the other hand, it takes a little bit more to raise the bar and be a collection that stands out or impresses me. Because at this point, we've had a history of iconic runs with this character. Wow, isn't this red hardcover beautiful? Anyway, as I began saying, it takes something unique to really raise the bar in my eyes with a Daredevil story. And that's what we have here with Mark Wade's run. Within these pages, the creative team involved took the character in a decidedly new direction. Coming out of the Shadowland event, wherein Daredevil was possessed by a literal demon, this creative team decided to go in a more upbeat, vibrant, and happier direction. This decision initially alienated a large portion of Daredevil's devoted fan base because, in many ways, this character functions best when, like Batman, he is dark and brooding and has areas of his life in shambles. However, these decisions to make Matt Murdock both in and out of costume an altogether happier, more easygoing character are the very things that lend a fresh breath to this character and series as a whole. I want to encourage those who might be thrown off by this happy-go-lucky idea for this character to just be patient, because as Wade's run matures, you see the fuller psychological profile of Matt Murdock, realizing that his external happiness is only skin deep. And for my money, the high bar of this series happens when you see the edges of Matt's happy character fray and begin to crack. Another strength of this Daredevil run, and you can see it starting in this first volume here, is how character-driven this series is. In addition to Mark Wade's complex psychological depiction of Matt Murdock, or Daredevil, We also get treated to some incredible developments with his relationships with his best friend, Foggy Nelson, and the introduction of a strong new female lead in the character of Kirsten McDuffie. This trio is the beating heart of this run, and it is a joy to watch their relationships mature, develop, and change throughout this entire series. The plotline itself treats readers to battles with villains both old and new, As Daredevil fights through the streets of New York, Matt Murdock fights within the courtroom, culminating with the introduction of a conspiracy that involves some of the world's leading criminal organizations. And while the plotline itself within this collection is strong, 
it is the construction of the new status quo and new character development that really shine. And that's it for the book itself. Before we go to the grading portion of this review, I wanted to spend some time showcasing the art. While Mark Wade spells out the more upbeat version of our hero, it's the art of Paolo Rivera and Marcos Martin that really sell it. As readers, we're treated to beautiful two-page splash pictures throughout this volume, with a color palette more vibrant than any I've seen in a Daredevil run up until this point. This heavy saturation of some of the primary colors give an almost throwback feel to the Silver Age of comic books. The character models in this volume as well seem to be made up of simpler geometry, which, coupled with the color palette, lend to such a fun, easy feel that match perfectly with the narrative tone. And with that, it's time to give this collection a grade. For Daredevil by Mark Wade, Volume 1, Hardcover, the Comic Book Report gives this book a B+, providing a refreshing start to a new run, with a color palette that is both as vibrant and upbeat as the narrative tone. This collection is not to be missed. Great for new and returning readers. Check out Daredevil by Mark Wade. And that'll do it for this week on the Comic Book Report. If you have thoughts on this week's video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing. Until next time, have a great week.